Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly update. And one of the biggest updates that recently came out over here, if you notice, the dot loop import wizard was recently rolled out to all market centers. All right, so in this case on here, you can actually start to import your dot or your loops inside opportunities to help out immediately. All right, so with that being said, the first big thing you want to do is make sure you have dot loop connected on here. All right, so if you have not done that, we just did a tip on it where you can find dot loop through the marketplace. Or if you already have it potentially connected, just click on the settings option to make sure that is all linked up. All right, so if you notice under my settings section on here, dot loop is all synced up on here. We're connected. We're good to go. All right, so with that being said on here, if I go back over to my opportunities now, all right, so we'll go to the little handshake icon over here on the left-hand side. All right, now with that being said, this is going to look almost identical to what we had before, but if you notice, there's a new import option up here at the top right. All right, so we can now actually import from dot loop over to our opportunities. So if I click on the import button on here, I can actually select which pipeline I want to put this in. All right, so if you're under multiple offices like I am on here, you can select the one that you'd like to add it into. All right, let me see if I can find a different one on here that might pop up. There we go. All right, so this is the only one that I actually have dot loop on there, so that's perfect. So importing from dot loop profile. So if I click on the continue option, all right, as you can see, I can select up to 25 loops to import into command. All right, previously imported loops are not available for import. All right, so in this case, then I can actually see all the different loops that I've created. All right, so this is going back all the way to 2014, for instance. All right, so if I come on here, let me see, I've got a bunch of loops available on here. It's going to try and get the most recent one, but I'll just pick whichever one I can find once it pops back up. All right, but you can first and foremost search by the status option on here. You can search by the type as well that you have over in dot loop to make it a little bit easier to find everything. All right, so in this case, it looks like those are all new agent ones. So I'm going to go back to my test one that I had on here. All right, now once again, you can only do 25 at a time. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. So I'll do this one of 123 Main Street. Import the selected. All right, as you can see, note depending on that, it'll show you what's coming on here. All right, so in this case, it'll then show you, all right, was this loop actually imported successfully? All right, newly import opportunities are set to the appropriate active or closed pipeline phase in a new stage called legacy. All right, could it not be imported? Or on here for me, for instance, all right, loops with missing or excess information must be reviewed in order to import opportunities accurately. All right, so in this case, I'd have to go through that to actually review it. So if I click on review now, all right, then I can double check for the address, for instance. So I'll put inside something on here. All right, it says none, that's fine. All right, so I'll put the opportunity type, let's say the listing, seller, myself, that's perfect, and the address on here. Let me edit it, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down, add this inside. Let me add in my office address, 24 East Central Boulevard, Landale, Florida. Awesome, and 32801, not three. All right, it's all submitted. So now once I click save and exit, perfect. All right, then it'll actually start to import for me immediately. All right, so that way you can actually take a look at everything, see what's going on for it, and then it'll automatically update for you too. All right, so I just wanna show you it's that simple to actually add this in, in order to just automatically pull this over immediately to your opportunity section. All right, and then once again, once it's completed, remember, it will actually show under the legacy section. All right, so in this case, under my close, for instance, there is a legacy option on here now, too. All right, and of course, you can always click on all opportunities as well once it's officially pulled over, so then you can access that immediately. All right, so as you can see right down here, 123 Main Street listing, it's currently in the active phase. It'll show the volume commission, and then it was imported from dot loop, right? So that's the tag that automatically pops up. All right, but it'll be that simple to actually access this and to pull over your dot loop loops immediately. Now, remember, you can do 25 at a time. I just want to give you a heads up on that, but this will help out tremendously. All right, so there you go. So that is your MyKW tip for the day.